Now before moving on to part D, we should probably simplify this, it would be minus 1.14. All right, so then for part D, we can find the reflected magnetic field from the reflected E field. So, so we'll be using this expression that we just obtained. So H, reflected, function of X and T also. We need a direction, and the direction comes from gamma hat crossed with the re reflected E field. The reflected E field, you can see here, is in the Y direction, but there's a minus sign here that we have to take into account. So it's minus Y hat. Gamma hat is propagating in the minus X hat direction. So once we do minus uh, X crossed with minus Y, we're going to get positive Z. So I'll put a Z hat there. For the magnitude, we'll take uh, 1.14. Remember, we already took into account the minus sign here. So for the magnitude, I'm just putting in 1.14. Divide by eta 1, which we already have calculated previously. And then we're just left with that cosine omega t. We'll fill that in in a minute. It's in the same propagation direction as the, it's propagating in the same direction as the reflected E field. So it's positive 30 pi x. And that's it. So we can just simplify. We get z hat, plug in for a to 1. We get 4.54. This will be in milliamps again per meter. Cosine for omega, I can fill in 6 pi times 10 to the ninth t plus 30 pi x, and that's milliamps per meter. And that's it.